get ready do my nighttime routine to calm down and when we open up our hips and our lower back and just breathe really deep and calming 10 minutes 15 minutes max a little stretching will really set you up for a wonderful deep night rest of course you can do this practice any time of the day you want to but this particular one I do at night and just try out and see what works for you okay and uh, today we're going to use lavender what is well known to calm your nerves it's also a good skin oil but in this case it calms you down you can put it in your bath or again the way i will do it today is put one drop on my forearm rub it in take maybe a, a nice deep breath it smells amazing and I am ready for my nighttime practice. Join me, have a good one. So here we're gonna come in a comfortable position. I'm kneeling, you may just sit cross-legged and center. You need one block where we sitting on the edge of it so we can just stack our legs. We are not crossing them, we're just stacking them in front of each other. In uh, hailing nice and deeply and turn our head here from side to side. Important is that your spine is nice and tall. And then reach your arms back, stretch them, hug yourself, crossing here your arms as you're going back and forth a few times, about four, two on top, and two in the bottom or switching it up. Stretching your arms away from you, rounding, opening here again in praise pose. Stretching round, open. Last opening here. And then we're coming to eagle arms. Right arm is on the knees, left elbow is in. Find a way to hold on, round your spine, tuck your chin in, breathe deep. Open up, not a praise pose. Stretch that chest. Turn your head once more from side to side. And then switching up your arms, bringing now the left elbow under, right elbow in. Find a way to find either your thumb or line up your palms. Don't be so particular about it. It's just about stretching your neck and shoulders. Breathe deep here, rounding more and more. Pressing those shoulders down. And then from here we move that block lining up the legs again not crossing them and walking forward you can be on your fingertips or flat palms press your outer shoulders down hollow your armpits and inhale and exhale through your nose let's come back up and back in And you may want to use the block here, walking out again and laying your forehead onto the block. So in the meantime, I switched up my legs. When we're pressing the block gently against the forehead, we automatically um, use pressure points to release stress. Sit up nice and tall here and we're going to twist. Inhale, exhale, twist to the other side. And again, tall spine, twist from above the navel. Switch it up again, let your head go along as long as it feels comfortable. And then we straddle, moving perhaps some buttocks flesh out of 
the way and we interlace and make a big circle that stretches behind the legs any other direction it's a nice way to open up the hamstrings and get the lower back ready for stretch Good. we're twisting here over that right leg first use your right hand for balance and use your left arm and left hand to guide you down couple breath here I don't want to give a number you do what feels good this is an evening relaxing yoga practice no need to force anything and over to the other side just letting your mind relax breathing and focusing on your breath will do the work and I like to use my index finger here or a block in the inside of my right leg so I don't have to hold that arm open now that um, left shoulder leaning back you may bring that arm up you may bring it all along the outside of your ear or just stay with your arm tucked behind it this is optional to straighten it out it depends on flexibility it's not necessary we're really loosening up hamstrings here and lower back or you maybe even grab your big toe open up that chest to the side relax the shoulders and breathe Slowly coming back up, turn your head here again from side to side, and then we repeat this to the other side. So first you want to twist a little bit and then either block or index finger under that left leg, open here with the right shoulder, lean your torso back, and then either lift that arm straight up or alongside your ear or find your big toe. No matter what you do, just do the most comfortable way to open up the side body and breathe really, really deep into it. And we're going to come out of this pose again. Grab the block and we're going forward. So you have option block vertical, horizontal or even totally flat or none. I want to make it relaxing, so I'm resting my forehead since I cannot come all the way down with my torso to the floor. You may. Finding that breath here and just letting everything go. Anything, what happened throughout the day, just melt it away with your breathing. As your body gives, you may want to change the height of the block. So I went a little lower here. You can also lay a bolster under your forehead. Okay, now moving on, we're going to move the block and bring the soles of our feet together and make like a diamond shape and we're going to fall forward here again. You can also, if you have the flexibility, bring your um, feet back together but bring them closer in butterfly it a little open the hip that depends on your flexibility coming all the way down or again you may want to use a block under your forehead bringing that central nervous system down with those moves by having the head nice and low is beneficial before sleep or bedtime Now get ready to stretch and straighten out your right leg. Do the best here you can. And then we're getting ready here for fire lock pose. I need to wiggle. You can also use a block and lay it under your knee. Or wiggle in place and press a little bit with the right side of your body into that knee or come all the way forward this is optional again you can stay upright you may also use the block again under your forehead
that windshield wipe here a little bit stretching out your legs lifting now that left leg straight up again do the best you can here don't stress over it just loosening up get a stretch as a good way to prepare for fire lock pose on the other side you may again use the block under your knee and ankle or wiggle yourself here into place I lean always a bit more into the side where the knees on the top and then the body automatically will give sit upright or this time I'm demonstrating it with a block under your forehead. You might not need a block or you might just use the block in a lower level. You need to find out what works best for you. Listen to your body. And then we're going to come back up and I'm moving here sideways. So as I'm leaning back, I'm on the mat. Make a couple circles with your knees on the ceiling, massaging out that lower back a few times in each direction, pulling the knees into your chest. Happy baby pose is always a good way to bring your central nervous system down and relax. And then from here, grab the block and you want to bring it into your lower back. It's usually where your yoga pants ends. And keeping here your left knee to the outer chest, straightening out that right leg the best you can. If this is too high, do it without a block. Stretching the hip flexor. Breathing deep in and out through your nose. Two to four long breaths total. And then we're going to switch it up, lengthening out now that left leg, coming onto your left heel, flex your toes, and bring that right knee to the other side. Use your left arm for balance. You may close your eyes. And then bringing both knees into the chest and we're getting ready to straighten them. You will find out real quickly if the block is in the right position, effortlessly your legs stay up. You can also scooch against the wall and do this against the wall. When we're pulling the blood out of the feet, circling through the heart and the head, that brings again our nervous system down. It lowers your blood pressure. It's healing, it's calming. You may stay here in this position with your legs straight up or move the block and come into a Shavasana or follow me along. I'm pressing my knees here again. And then I'm opening up here with the soles of my feet together. Again, like I said, you can be in a straight Shavasana or stay. Or I'm bringing now that block or a bolster behind my lower back and let my head low and relax. You can also put a block under your head. This is optional. Find the most comfortable position. So we're pretty much done here with our yoga practice today. I hope you enjoyed this quick bedtime routine. Do it as often as you need to. Subscribe to my channel, share, press the like button. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Have a blessed rest.